Oh, what the heck was that? Oh my god. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to a new video. Tie on here. In today's video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to tie glide in Fallout 84. Now, tie gliding is a movement I created accidentally while streaming earlier, and I'm going to show you how to do it consistently. Now, it's actually kind of reminiscent of the wall glide I learned in Apex Mobile. So it literally is almost the same movement. But with that said, let's hop right into it. Literally, the first thing you need is you need any sort of weapon and you need just one of them. The premise of it is to essentially boost yourself. So what it does is it literally boosts you and allows you to move without having to use your actual jetpack, which is so nice because that means if you're able to hit this movement, people are not going to be able to chase you. People are not going to be able to follow you and you can outplay other teams. Now, it's pretty simple. Step one is you need to get yourself into an auto mantle. So what's an auto mantle, you might ask? It's when the game essentially helps you mantle or climb up something. So if I climb, the game is gonna finish that for me if I hit that jump. So what you wanna do is just barely miss it. So let me see if I can get far enough to just barely miss it. That's me just barely missing it. Now, once I've done that, I need to go ahead and jump. So there's actually a movement that you might do accidentally when doing this, and it's been around in the game for a while. Essentially, if you go ahead and you jump, it's gonna give you a nice little boost whenever you hit up any ledge. And it's just gonna be a little bit higher than your normal jump. So keep that in mind. That's not what it looks like. Back to the tag light. You want to get into the automatic position, right? And then you want to either holster your weapon or unholster and reholster real quick. It doesn't matter which action you do. It needs to be some sort of holster, right? To actually be able to go ahead and hit that consistently. So you're going to want your feet to be like right there. So now you mix all that up together. It's going to send you flying like that. Now, with that said, you can actually make this a lot easier by going ahead and holding down the jump button. So you can go ahead and run into it and hold it down. It's gonna make it so much easier. Now, one thing I noticed is if you do hold it, you're not gonna go as far. So I do recommend spam tapping if you wanna go a bit further. Well, what happens when you jump is you essentially reset it and you give yourself a better boost, like so. You can do this on any surface. You're gonna get varying results based on how well you do it and how well your timing is, as well as the literal ledge. So you can do it off something like this as well. Just make sure your feet are just off of it and weapon swap real quick and it'll send you flying. Now, if you master this, it's going to take your gameplay to an entirely different level. However, it's gonna be hard to do, so you're gonna need to get into this training range practice. But with that said, if you guys liked the video, leave a like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.